Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can repair or replace, quite often it's much easier to replace a throttle assembly on a motorized bicycle. Um, you could have a cracked uh, outlet tube here or you could have something wrong inside of the throttle grip itself or maybe the ball end of the cable has come off in which case you're probably just as easy just go ahead and get a, a new a throttle assembly I'm going to show you how it mounts both to the two stroke and here we go on the four stroke first thing we're going to want to do I'm showing you how you install the cable on the carburetor on the four stroke it goes through the cable holder you can see the little ball swivel there it has a notch cut into it that's where the cable goes into. The front part of the swivel assembly has a round hole drilled into it and the ball end of the cable goes inside of it and is pulled back. And here you can see how you operate the cable on the four stroke. On the two stroke you need to remove the cap from the carburetor first. Be careful, you've got a spring in there and then we've got some small parts you need to be real careful of. You've got the needle, you have a washer, and then you have the carburetor slide. Now the carburetor slide, we're looking at the bottom. The top is recessed. Uh, you, the needle goes in first. You push it down, it goes in it a bit. And then you have the washer. The washer has a slot cut in it. That is where the cable is going to go through the washer, and that must be aligned with the slot in the carburetor slide so we can get the cable on. Now then, you want to push the cable through the cap on the carburetor go ahead and put your spring on then we need to fit the cable through the slot in the slide there the cable the ball end of the cable goes at the bottom of the slide where the pin comes out here I'm uh, readjusting the the washer for the uh, the slot to uh, coincide with the slot on the slide and there you go that's what it looks like now the slot as well has to register with the pin as you can see here by the gas inlet on the carburetor there's a pin that goes in there and that pin goes through the slide, the notch cut in the slide. So if you don't have it registered right, the slide isn't going to go in all the way and go down all the way. Take your time at this point here as well the needle at the bottom of the slide has to go into an orifice at the bottom of it. Now we've got some slop in the cable at this point here but don't worry about it. We're going to take care of that once we uh, get the, uh, the handle assembly taken care of. Now the other end of the cable you screw into the throttle housing, you screw it in there and you want to leave a couple of threads out because we need to put the uh, the retaining nut on. Just tighten it up by hand here at this point here. It's probably going to come loose while we're messing with it anyways. And then you can see how the throttle assembly goes onto the handlebar. Now then you can see how the, uh, the throttle cable goes through the uh, throttle housing assembly here. You've got your throttle grip, you have the nylon piece here, it has a hole drilled into it. The ball of the cable goes into the hole there, and then there's a slot in the cam that the cable goes into. Now the cam has a stop in it, that way the, the, you don't want the stop to go down inside the housing. You always want that gap there, otherwise if you put it together you can damage the throttle assembly. Now the cap of the throttle housing there has a pin in it and we need to drill a hole in the handlebar if we're doing this on a new installation. I use a punch and a hammer. I give it a good couple of whacks there to uh, make a mark in the metal. Uh, this one needs a 3 16 drilled hole for the pin to go into. I'm just getting it started there. I don't want to drill a hole in my hand if the bit slips. Take your time. Let's get everything registered. Now we're ready to put the cap on. You want to find the, the hole in the, uh, the handlebar. It's a little bit hard, but if you press down on it and kind of hold things together, you'll find it. Now remember that cam piece that I told you. You don't want that down inside the housing. You want that above it, because if you start tightening things up and that cam is down in the housing, you can damage the, uh, the throttle grip there. So take your time. Check your operation. Hold it together. Then go ahead and twist the throttle and get a feel for it. Can, can you tell that things are working? Good. Once you've assured yourself that you've got the throttle twisting properly, it's not in a bind inside of the housing, go ahead and put your screws in. Now this is a plastic housing, so you don't want to get these screws tight. We're just going to get them just to where they bottom out. 
as you can see the housing uh, twists a little bit on the handlebar there and I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit more. I've got everything snug and secure. I've got smooth operation of the twist. Now as you can see that jam nut came loose. What we're going to do here, we're going to aim the cable towards the center of the bike. Right now I'm just hand tightening up the jam nut and then uh, take a crescent wrench and give it just a little bit of a turn. This is a plastic housing. You don't want to get this thing tight. You can crack it. Now we've got a little bit of slack in the cable here and this, that's what this cable adjuster is for here. Unscrew it to where the cable doesn't move anymore and tighten it up. You're going to want to come back with a 10 millimeter wrench and a crescent wrench and get it tight. Hope you enjoyed my video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Click subscribe. Check the link down below. I'll show you where you can buy a throttle housing and a throttle cable if you need it. Thanks for watching.